G'day everyone, this is Jackson Milan, the Wealth Mentor. Sam Panetta, CEO and co-founder of Aureus Financial. And uh, we're here for our weekly live Q&A for Ask Aureus Anything. So, we had a, a really good question last week uh, from Michael Shaw. Uh, so Michael was asking about, uh, he was doing a bit of shopping around uh, in regards to his super, uh, trying to find the best option. So he wanted some advice uh, and wanted some guidance around how to choose the right fund. Um, once again, a bit of uh, legal disclaimer, this is general advice, don't go out and action anything without getting personal advice first. Um, this is maybe just a bit of food for thought for your consideration. So, um, diving right in. So, to, to choose the right super fund, um, look, the, the thing about Australia is we actually have a really good retirement and superannuation system, uh, probably one of the best in the world, uh, particularly when we compare it to the likes of the United States, um, where if any of you have read Tony Robbins' last book, Unshakable, um, he really tears them to shreds. Uh, in, in some uh, uh, employer-sponsored pension plans, um, they're paying upwards of 3 to 5% per annum in their fees, which is just ludicrous. Like, um, that stuff doesn't happen here, thank God. Um, but when it comes to choosing the right super fund, there's a few key considerations. Um, the first one is in regards to the features and the fees. Like anything in life, you get what you pay for. Um, there's different plays in the market. You've got your industry funds who are really cheap. Um, you've got your run-of-the-mill retail funds like your MLCs, your AMPs of the world. Um, and then you've got generally your corporate superannuation funds that are provided by your employer. Um, depending on the size of your employer, there can be some great benefits as part of those. And then finally, you've got your self-managed superannuation fund. Uh, so really, it depends on your journey. Now, we normally say that uh, for most people who are accumulating, uh, have less than 100 grand in super, your key focus should be minimising your costs. And uh, of course, you want to make sure that it's invested appropriately as well. So it's about understanding the makeup of the, the fees of your superannuation plan when you compare it. Typically, your superannuation will be split into three key lo lots of fees. The first one is what's called an administration fee, generally uh, either a dollar fee per month and or a percentage-based fee. And that's to cover managing your tax with the ATO, uh, taking contributions, uh, sending your statements, answering the phone when you call, uh, providing you with online access, access to investment options, that kind of stuff. Your next fee is generally going to be your investment fee or what they refer to sometimes as a management expense ratio or MER. Uh, sometimes they call it an ICR. Uh, and it's basically what the fund manager charges you for the investment option that you're in. Once again, it's typically a percentage of, of your balance. And finally, you have your insurance premiums. Most super funds have default insurance that's included, uh, and you have the ability to increase it if you like, uh, but they have a monthly premium or an annual premium that gets deducted. It's important to look at all those things differently because they can have a tremendous impact on how you compare apples for apples. Now, because different funds, particularly industry funds, are very tactical when they tell you these fees. They break them down into weekly fees, as an example, which make them feel very small. Um, whereas some other funds might do it annually, which makes them seem a lot bigger. So typically, we, should, we, we try and aim for, at all times, to keep the admin fee and the investment fee, or the MER, at below 1%. If you're paying any more than 1%, you, you really uh, should have to look into justifying what you're paying for. A lot of older style funds um, do charge one, two, three percent sometimes, depending, um, because they've been grandfathered, they're on old rules. Um, so that, that's an important observation. We, a lot of the funds that we use for our clients are in the vicinity of 0.6 to 0.7 percent uh, because we primarily use what's called an index fund or a passive investment, which is very, very cheap. We find those fees get very expensive when you start using active funds. The insurance one is very hard. It depends on your situation. So uh, I think best thing to do uh, overall, do a bit of research yourself online. There's some great comparison tools. If you're trying to find a good super fund, um, you can do a bit of the due diligence yourself. Uh, we do have access to software that allows us to compare all the super funds in the market. So the easiest way, just reach out to us. We can do the comparison for you, give you some reports, and hopefully point in the right direction. Most people listening to this are going to go, that's that's a mouthful and this is way too hard. It's this this super stuff, it's, I'm just going to ignore it. I'll look at it when I'm 60. Don't do that. 
pay some attention to it and sort it out. It's your money, it's your retirement. Jackson will sort it out. It's too complex for me. He's all over it. Yeah. Any questions, just let us know. It's a very complex field. The super funds rely on that complexity to keep their members, basically. They make it hard for a reason. Thank you.